Welcome back, back guys. guys. It's, it's Carter and Tucker. And today we are going to be making a dish that goes with all the sourdough bread. So, we're going to be making steamed mussels with coconut cream broth. And we got this recipe from our good friend Mushi and Bozzy's dad, Mr. Tarek. So, the ingredients are one half shot of cooking sherry, one liter of chicken stock, one teaspoon curry powder, one teaspoon pap paprika, one teaspoon coriander powder, chili lime seasoning, one lime, six garlic cloves sliced, and one and a half onions diced, one stalk lemongrass slices, one bunch of you know, cilantro chopped regularly, three bay leaves, one can of coconut cream, salt and pepper, olive oil, and butter. Now we're gonna put some olive oil in the white pot and a stick of butter. And then we're gonna put some chopped onions. And then we put lemongrass with chopped garlic. Before we do all that, we're gonna turn on the stove. You're gonna wanna stir this around until it's all mixed. Oops, I accidentally did a little. And now that it's cooked down a little, we're going to put a little of chicken broth in. Okay, chicken. It actually smells like chicken. Steaming pot back to it. Okay, that, now I can definitely smell the chicken. So, while that is cooking, we are gonna put one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of cor coriander powder, and one teaspoon of curry powder. Oh yeah, and remember, Always have a parent to help with every step. Okay, just be about it. Can I smell it? Okay, it's definitely a spice. Okay, now time for ground coriander powder. I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. Here we well. go. Delicious so far. Curry. Oh, my now, favorite foods. Now it's time for curry powder. Ooh. Now, this is delicious. Now we are going to put it in the pot. It is now stirred. Now, time to put the spices in. Now stop. Hey, could you give me a glove, please? Sure. Yeah. Can you Remember, put it on, can you put it on me? Remember, always have a parent to, to help. help you. Okay. Then you put cooking sherry in. Just a little bit of cooking sherry. There we go. Oh my God! It smells so good. Come here! Come here! Come here! Mmm, this is delicious. Now it's time for the coconut cream. Mmm, smells creamy. <laughs> oh, speaking of coconut, we are going to Hawaii in a few days, and so stay, stay tuned for, for some of that. Okay, there we go. Put all the coconut. And you see that? Always have a parent to help. Now you stir. Oh my gosh! 
So now we're gonna put a little bay leaves in there. And then we're gonna put a little lime, squeeze a little lime on top for a little seasoning. Okay, so now we're gonna put a little lime on top for a little seasoning. Oh, limes are hard. Exercise more. <laughs> Trying to get that in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mr. Tarek was right. It is really good. Everything smells. I hope. And then we're going to put some tahine in. Just a sprinkle. And then we're gonna mix it up. Could you give me the glove, please? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. So next, we're gonna put the spaghetti in a different pot, a pot because we're gonna have the mussels and the broth um, with the spaghetti. So we're gonna put it in a different pot. Put it all in in the different pot. And then. What well, we've all been waiting for, the mussels. The mussels. Well, a different type of mussels. These fresh mussels from Canada. So uh, make sure to clean the mussels first. And then we're going to pour the mussels in the pot. And then close the pot for five minutes. And you know they're ready when the she shells open. Kind of like this. It already opened a little bit. Okay, you ready, Carter? Yep. Three, two, one. Wow. Okay, now close the lid. Okay, come on, help me, buddy. It's heavy. It's really heavy. Oh my god. Okay. Ah. And now we wait for five um, minutes. minutes. So I have a parent to help you open the lid, and um, after five minutes, let's see. <gasps> you see how the muscles opened up? Wow. Okay, now time to put the cilantro to give it more of a seasoning taste. Oh, much greenery. And we got this. Um, Straight so, from our garden. Yeah, our uh, um, smart garden. Okay, now um, we have to mix it a little. Okay, now you have to turn off the oven. Just, I mean the stove, sorry. Turn it off. So it's kind of easy. Oh my god, it's, it's kind of hard because of the muscles kind of in... Yeah. Kind of in there. Oh my gosh, it's looking delicious! <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, oh my gosh, it's really good! Too full. Uh, be careful to not get too close because the seam will like kind of. Oh bother. my goodness! Now we're gonna do salt and pepper. I'll take the pepper, I'll take the salt. Two no. peas in a palm. Salt and pepper. Green and pepper. <laughs> Remember for Halloween we love salt and pepper? Remember we have to mix it? Okay, yeah. now let's mix it. To get the salt and pepper kind of in there. Now we're going to make some of our homemade soda bread and bring it over. And just so you know, if you want this, check out our other video, How to Make Sourdough Bread. Now we're going to put some of our spaghetti in the bowl that we cooked from earlier. Why don't we put some mussels in the bowl covered with some broth and see what it tastes. Are you 
ready for this? Look how good it looks, like with the mussels and the like cilantro the, and the um, coconut cream broth and everything. Look how beautiful these mussels are. Okay, let's try it. So, first the sourdough bread, dip it in the broth. Cheers. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. I could do this all day. <laughs> now let's try some of the glass. Wait, just to get more. Mmm! Delicious! Mm hmm. Now let's try some of the spaghetti. Okay, I'm not getting much on this one. Oh my God, it's hot. So mm. Let's try some of the. Let's try some of the mussels. Mm -hmm. Are you still eating the bread? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to pick this one. Cheers. Okay. Look at this. This looks delicious. Look at <gasps> all of those colors. This looks so colorful. Oh mm, my god. So good. Mm, it's so good. I like how the flavors all blend together. I know. So citrusy because that lime. Mm. Um, the coconut cream and all the other things just pop. And it blends together. And I know. It's so good. All the tastes are like one thing together. It's kind of like a rainbow. The spaghetti is chewy. The um, the broth is kind of light. I like how the um, the mussels, the meat of the mussels, are chewy and and soft. has a good te texture to it and soft. And I like the how uh, the broth, broth is really light and it really cools down really fast. You should definitely have this for dinner. Thank you so much, Mr. Taylor, Miss Rasha, and Ms. Bazi for this recipe. Oh my god, it was so good. And the fans out there, oh yeah, you should definitely make this. Follow this, follow the steps, and you will be happy for the rest of your life. I recommend this to everyone out there. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.